the joy for me in being involved in this project has been getting to know James Seymour Capon. The learning that his friends called him Seymour. <laughs> A good name. Good name. The James Seymour Capon was so much a part of the early history of our town and city, the early history of Rollins College, that saving this house is not only saving a structure, but saving the memory of someone who's so important to all of us today in so many aspects of our lives. I did find a reference to Waring Chase's journal in which he describes the house that we're talking about. He said, our handsome friend, J.S. Capon, will soon move into his new house on the banks of beautiful Lake Osceola. It's an elegant house, but none too good for Seymour, who is the very best of men. Well, he had reason to say that, because Seymour, when he came, immediately got involved with attracting Rollins here, he contributed to that fund which led the Congregational Church to select Winter Park for Rollins College. Right after that, he helped with the accounting at Rollins in appreciation because he did it pro bono. The trustees voted that a room in the dormitor new dormitory be named for his wife, Mrs. Capon. He was involved in the city. He was elected as a, an alderman. He was there at the Virginia Inn when the city was incorporated in 1887. He, he was a part of so many things, and one I just learned from my trip to the archives. In 1935, on the 50th anniversary of the college, Joshua Chase gave a talk in Knowles Chapel about those people who had contributed to the character of Winter Park. And he said, Capon Avenue brings up affectionate remembrance, remembrances of James Seymour Capon. We all know Capon Avenue, which runs up the west side of Winter Park. He, his 80 acres were in that part of town. He went on to say this, which I had never known before. The oak trees that shade and beautify the streets of Winter Park were arranged for, planted, and cared for by the citizens of the community under the direction of Mr. Capon. Wow. So as we go to the, as we treasure our oak canopy and go down the streets, we should remember we should remember Seymour Capon. <laughs> I am so excited about this project. We've had a lot of projects in town. I got involved in this one, I'd sort of given that up in my retirement, because this is truly a win-win for our community. These other projects, many of them have had winners and losers, and I've just gotten to a point in life where I don't want to be in arguments with anybody anymore. But this one will so benefit the Palazzi, it will make the Cape and House not private and therefore inaccessible, it will make that wonderful old house available to our whole community. It will bring together the friendship of the Palazic and Capon families, which is so tangibly demonstrated here. I think it's a wonderful cause. I'm really excited to be a part of it. So thank you, Lawrence. Yeah,